cool. These are my first office hours on the 4th of July, 2022. I am going to share screen and go through uh, Relate and sort of explain a little bit about it and the wiki. Stacy is here with me, but she's currently having lunch. So uh, we'll be visible in a little bit. And um, so Relate is a project to relate ideas, documents, perspectives, and people. I will do better explanations of it, in fact, uh, on the wiki, which I'll show you. This right here, relate.dev, is uh, basically the homepage of a simple, simple, simple website. For a little while, I was stuck on what to put on the website and what to put on the wiki. And then I decided to just throw everything over onto the wiki and ignore this. I'd like to come back. So one of the questions for the back of anybody who's watching this, including you, Stacey, uh, is like, what should still go on the home page of Relate as a regular website? And then uh, the wiki is basically wiki.relate.dev. Thank you, Pete Kaminsky, very much. Uh, using Massive Wiki Builder and Massive Wiki here. Uh, the pages here are all pages in Obsidian. And so Obsidian is the editor I'm using. Uh, so here's the README page, which is the default landing page on any uh, GitHub repo, is this page, which is this page. So whenever I make changes to this page in Obsidian and I push them to GitHub, this website is rebuilt automatically whenever. So Massive Wiki Builder goes, ooh, there's a change, rebuilds a static site that looks like a web page. And that's what we have here. And uh, so I've created separate pages. Uh, the, the nav bar on the left here, the navigation, I haven't really touched yet. Uh, it's a new feature in Massive Wiki, which is really lovely. So ignore right now what's, what's on the nav. A second question to put in the back of everyone's head is, what should be on the nav bar of the wiki? And how does that work? And then these are the major categories. I'm trying to write, this is, this is not enough text for the wiki, and I'm also wanting to shoot some videos but I'm also trying to not be very wordy. I think wikis with a lot of words don't get used, don't get read. And so I'm trying really hard to, to encapsulate things in uh, titles and then to say, okay, what is relate should be over on a page called what is relate so we can always point back to it. <clears throat> and then here, uh, why it exists, which will be a little bit of, of prose, who is involved, which I haven't finished, the relationship to neighboring organizations, which I should make a link to in a second. But then under here, I created a separate thought about, hey, here's a page just to talk about Relate's goals, separated into short-term, mid-term, and long-term. I think there's some text that I, I need to put in here explaining why the division into these different timeframes and what it means. <clears throat> but then uh, the, the notion here is that the short-term goals are extremely pragmatic. Um, hey, how do we share notes across tools? And how do we start to understand what relate pioneers, people who have already created um, some, oh good, Pete fixed this, that's very funny. Because this didn't render properly earlier and he added a, a blank line and now it renders properly. Um, so um, these are people who have projects that are pretty advanced uh, that solve different parts of the relate problem. So I'm calling them relate pioneers just, uh, just for grins right now. Uh, and so that's the short-term goals are to take some of the pioneers, remix them, and just do some proof of concept demos uh, that lead to a shared memory. And I have to say a whole lot more here. I have to connect it probably to the big fungus and, and other sorts of things. Midterm goals are really, and there's no description here, I've got to go write this, but this is the project with Ev to figure out, and this is, um, and this is really the heart of Relate right now what kind of organizations and entities need to exist so that the project to create a shared memory might exist. So this isn't how do we build one big memory to hold them all and what is the next Wikipedia above Wikipedia? <clears throat> this is not what Relate wants to do. Relate wants there to be a distributed, um, powerful, collective memory the big fungus nominally, uh, which has lots of different ways of, of adding uh, and enriching information and lots of ways to adapt for the fact that participants in building this shared memory will be using completely different tools that they prefer to use. Some will be in Obsidian or Rome Research 
or whatever. Uh, some will be in the brain or, or Kumu or some other visualization software. Some will be doing something else. And a piece of what we're trying to figure out here is what kind of protocols and standards do we need to get that work done? What, what sort of agreements does it take so that people collaborating, people eager to collaborate, but using different tools can actually make a body of work that's rich for everybody in the middle. And then the way I've set this up, the long-term goals are meant to be, hey, if we pull this off, if we succeed, insights from everywhere, from books, from us, from conversations, from threads being lost on mailing lists, will become more available. Sharing will be commonplace, and we will have beneficial effects in different sectors. And so here, <clears throat> I want to talk, I'll have a page about how Relate could affect education, journalism, science. And by the way, <clears throat> this last bullet is really crucial because what happens is education winds up not being that separate from journalism, winds, winds up being not that separate from science, winds up being not that separate from governance. The key here is these things can start to actually reintegrate. And that's a big piece. So this is about Relate is about the relationships between domains of human activity, in fact, also, right? So let me let me hit pause. Does that all make sense? Or does any of that make sense? Yes, it, it does make sense. It does. Did you you want to stop screen sharing so we can yeah. see each other? Cool. It makes a lot of sense and it's painting a broader picture, which is easier for me. Um did you you didn't do are you gonna get to the questions that you asked? Because that's where I have some comments. Um, yes. Uh, you mean the key questions in the wiki or the, que or the questions I was just asking now? The questions in the wiki. Mm. Oh, sure. Or if we're not there, I don't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean no, to... that, no, that's fine. We can go any, we can actually go anywhere you want because part of what I'm trying to figure out is what's missing, what's going on, et cetera. So here's the homepage right now for the wiki. Uh, here's what is this project. Here is a shortcut to the goals page I just showed. Uh, here are the key questions I think you're asking about. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, now these key questions mirror uh, these key questions in my brain. In fact, the way I created this page was I went to my brain, I copied, uh, I think it's this command. There we go. I basically copied out this list of things under this node in my brain, something I want to show you how to do so that you can pull out any subset of things from the brain, because then over here, see, I can say copy 12 thoughts, copy as text outline, copy as text outline with notes, whatever, whatever. Now, I don't think all these features are available in the web brain version that you're using. They might only be available in the brain as an app. <clears throat> so we have to figure that out. Okay. But anyway, what I did was I copied all of these and I pasted them over into Obsidian, then I edited them. And my goal here is to create a separate page because these are links to pages and these are not, these are not yet linked, the ones below, because I haven't, I just haven't gotten there. But my goal here is to, to, to have pages for each of these questions and then to use the office hours to, for example, address these questions and to put these questions also into our standing calls <clears throat> and say, hey, let's go figure out how diversity plays into OGM and relate. Right, and we've we've been on that topic before. Let's go deeper into it. Let's figure out what that means, uh, how to work it. Uh, let's figure out how to commission tiles uh, to build our mosaics. Uh, let's figure out how to motivate companies and individuals to feed the fungus, because that's two different sales jobs that need to happen for us to have a culture of uh, building a shared memory. Right, we need to do that a lot more than than before. So all of these are some key questions. This is just me riffing on the key questions. I am eager to figure out what the crowd would thinks the questions are, and I'm eager to try to keep this containable. So I'm all about subsets, and and I'm trying to make this really pithy so that somebody coming in isn't overwhelmed immediately. <clears throat> right. So, so I'm trying, I, go ahead. I was going to say when I look at this, the way I map it in my brain is that. The short term goals and the medium term goals, they're in the pile that you're mostly working with. Yeah. Because when I look at the question, when I look at the, in the long run, those are things that are that 
counterintuitively track back to the very beginning questions. What I mean by that is that, so you're working on like the actual tools and doing the projects, but when I hear questions like, how do we bake diversity in? And I forgot what the other one was. Um, how do we get normal citizens engaged? Yep. Those are like things that relate to the long term. However, they have to start now. Exactly. So one of the things that I think might be useful is to find out what people need. Because I noticed one of your questions, like how do we get the next step, the next step up from Instagram? Yep. Yep. And the whole idea of diversity, what I noticed, like even in these tech spaces, is that people think differently. So I'm wondering if just by reaching out to different people that produce content or people, you know, women, I, let me just say the word <laughs> and saying, you know, like, mm -hmm. what would be more helpful for you? Like, what's something that you would use just by bringing them into the conversation? Mm -hmm. That's sort of like planting seeds for diversity right there. Totally agree. And, and one of my only answers to the diversity question is to be of service to people we would like who who amplify our diversity. I, I think I think I think inviting people in and saying, please be a part of my community because you look different from me is not really serving them very well and doesn't really work. I, that's, I think it's really hard. So serving other people who could use the value that we're trying to create here is a really, really nice bridge and I think brings people in. So I think one of the goals here, and this is one of the things I should play out in the pages, is Okay, great. So who can we invite into conversation and how do we serve them? Like, how do, how do we help other people start to build this stuff out? Well, I'm even thinking like when you say how can relate appeal to normal citizens, mm -hmm. just even asking people like, what do you wish you had? You know, like what mm -hmm. would be your wish list just to get an idea of how people are thinking or what they wish they had? So how can relate? Here's the page. My focus question is, one step more complicated Instagram, Twitter, or Pinterest. Um, working questions. Um, something like that. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would make that what do people wish for in a tool? <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of different answers. <laughs> exactly. In a thinking tool, in a sense making tool, uh, social media tool, a tool is fine. Um, so people are already using hashtags a whole bunch, which is really cool. So like we can we can build from there. That's a good start. Um, good. So I want to use these pages as notes and then refine this later, but we can, you know, as we're thinking out loud, uh, part of the reason for office hours is to be able to sort of come into the editor and go, okay, good. Let, you know, this is needed for this page. This is needed for this page, et cetera, et cetera. Good. I, one of the things, one of the things that's kind of fun, I learned how to build little tables ah. in, in Obsidian and they look nice. If I go back to the wiki, uh, and go home, go all pages, and look at my office hours. This is what, it, see, it looks pretty elegant. And there's a there's basically an advanced table plugin that makes making tables in Obsidian easier. Uh, in Markdown, there's a primitive table function. You just use the, the pipe symbol, the bar, which is usually on the far right on the keyboard. That between anything with tabs is basically like how you make a table but the table plugin makes it easier to do and use. Uh, and so at the end of this call, I'm gonna add the link to this call when I upload it to YouTube right here. Make sense? Yes. And so, and so this will be a repository where you can go watch any of, the, any of my office hours that I record and post. Okay, so this topic was on building out the Relate Wiki. Yeah. So so it's Let's a tour see. it's a tour of the relate wiki and the, the exactly the kind of conversation we're having which is like okay so what belongs on what page and and does it make sense and all that kind of stuff 
Um, and I, and I kind of, I sort of want to hop through some of the pages that I've got going so far. Like for example, I created a, a ground rules page, um, which was, um, and I, I didn't put any links here, but I wanted to kind of link back to all the work we did on the generative commons conversations and say, there's a spirit here of working in the generative commons uh, method. There also should be a code of conduct of some sort. And then there's other sorts of things about um, um, something like that. I, so I was never here. I wasn't here for the generative, the generative commons. Oh, shoot. I thought you were. Okay. I hope I'm not breaking any of these codes. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Um, the generative commons agreement was different. It wasn't a code of conduct thing. It was, um, and, and Michael Grossman participated a lot in these conversations because he was raising some of these issues. He's like, hey, I actually have a little startup company and I'm trying to make a you know living and have a profitable company while, while participating in all of these efforts to build commons, to share open source code, et cetera, et cetera. How does that work? Right? And so the generative commons agreement was like, hey, we love things like creative commons licensing. We love, there's a, a couple other pieces of this puzzle have been solved. There's a couple others that haven't been solved. So if you agree to the generative commons agreement, then you're agreeing to this umbrella description of how to collaborate together to build a commons while letting people make a living from the process. Okay, so that would be like some of the things like the, that the open source community have done. Yes. Okay. So building entirely on top of that. So, so this should be um, a link. This I'll, and if I do double square brackets, it makes a, a link to an empty page. I haven't created that page yet. Uh, so should this be called the relate code of conduct? Yeah, probably. And then this should be a link as well. And then is this a, so what I want to describe in the middle bullet here, the middle heading is when participating on this wiki, how, like, how to do that? Like what, in what spirit, what I was trying to describe a moment ago about being pithy um, and having lots of sub pages. That's what I'm thinking about for here. Is this a reasonable name for that page? I can always change the name later. I'm probably not the best person to ask for advice on how to okay. set something up being that I don't use it. Um, that is fine. I will go with it and then I can always change it later. Right. Right. Um, and any other kinds of ground rules come to mind that we need? No, but I, but I mean, I think what you're looking for is a sentence that describes, I think it's sort of like you want to, See, I'm looking at it from a different point of view. I'm right. looking for something that's giving me permission and telling me how much input you want me to put on this page. Right. How much agency do you want me to exert? Yes, which is should be on that page as well, I think. Um, so I'm creating I'm now creating those pages. So do you see what um, i'm I'm doing it really quickly without explaining. Um, so look now you'll see that these links are dark. And mm -hmm. this link is still gray or lighter, lighter, mm -hmm. dark blue. Um, that means that this page doesn't exist yet, but these pages do exist. So can we look at it? And so to create the page, I just click on it. And now I basically put in a title. Uh, the, the one pound sign means make this a title. I copy, I copy the text in the name of the page and I put it at the top and I don't, I want to put the word the, and then I hit return. And now this is, this has started this page. Now, this page doesn't exist on the wiki yet because I haven't pushed any changes. And um, I can show you that some other time, but that, but, but, but basically that's a, a piece of how to, how to, uh, a piece of how to get involved is how to help create this wiki, which I also haven't created as a page. So let's do that. Oops. And then I'll do something that will I hope will make sense. So uh, blah, blah, blah. And then um, uh, 
what did I just call that page? Uh, I'll figure it out in a second. So, uh, so right now we're on help create this wiki. Here's ground rules. I called it writing style for this project. So, so now what I'll do is I'll basically take the same words, make that a link, and now this is a link to that other page. So help create this wiki is the technical page. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, this uh, page holds geeky uh, info for how to edit massive wiki to add pages to uh, the rel eight wiki. Uh, okay, so this is this is basically a bare bo bare bare bones um, page, and this should be a link over to massive wiki. And really, how to edit should probably all be hosted over on massive wiki, which would be great and better because then any site using massive wiki should just refer over to massive wiki on how to edit massive wiki how to how to configure obsidian github all that kind of stuff should only be done once over there does that make sense yes well the writing style now the writing style is particular for here okay so that's why it's a page here but but here i i I'll, and i'll talk with pete about this um but here i really think that that uh you know this page points to information on how to edit massive wiki go over there to do it and as we figure things out we will contribute to the pages that live over on pete's massive wiki wiki right yeah because those are just general purpose topics about anybody trying to use massive wiki and well, as he improves massive wiki then you make a change once to how to do it and everybody using massive wiki gets to benefit from that so i like that entirely and that, and help create this wiki should be under get involved that there it is okay good uh, I have not created the page online conversations which is where I was going to put uh, links to the OGM call and the Mattermost server and stuff like that um, and I and I haven't created yet a separate channel for relate on the Mattermost server which I think I probably need to do like real soon now and there's a bunch of other things let me go back up to the top and see what's interesting to you and what's still open question and I'll note that it's an hour in I'm happy to keep going but I don't want to eat your fourth of July so as long as you'd like to stay I'm you're welcome to no nope, I'm, I'm good I'm good what else is interesting um relate I'd like to see relate projects <laughs> I was just going to go there um okay relate projects for 100 exactly exactly the answer is um so you'll notice that these pages are not created yet. This one is, and the tiles page is. Let me go to the tiles first. Um, and I need to figure out how to explain this better uh, because the relate projects will have kind of funky different names. These are kind of bigger projects. They, they're, each of them has to be explained where tiles, I created another, another table here. It'll be better. It'll be more visible over on the wiki. So let's go. To the tiles page here we go so it looks prettier here um so again i i used the 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 table maker to say hey we already have two finished tiles meme brain and brainy mcbrain face and then we might actually have one or two more i don't i don't remember what else uh because pete built the buzzsaw to scrape zoom chats. i don't know if that qualifies there's a couple other pieces of code that are that pro probably qualify here and then um, these other projects are proposed, like, okay, uh, how, do we, uh, how do we build this out? Who might be in charge of it? Um, and let me go back over here. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So this is the tiles. Where did I have rendering? Right. Oh, rendering is Caladraw was a tile. Here we go, good. So, how do I, uh, 
I don't know how to link to a page where I don't use exactly the same name. I have to figure that out. I think it's easily possible. I just don't know exactly how. I think it's like this. So now I'm editing the table. Now I'm going to go here. One bracket in parentheses. And in the parentheses, I want to put tile. No, I don't think this is right. I don't think that's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, that didn't work. So I need to figure out how to make a link back into the wiki where the name. So I don't, I named the page. See on the left here, it says tile rendering Excalibur draw because I wanted each of the tile pages to show up next to each other when I, when they're listed here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so the two tiles I've got described, the cron job and the rendering are here as web pages, uh, as wiki pages, but I don't want to do tile bash here. Although for a moment I could. Why don't I try that? So so if I do double square brackets and then uh, what did I do here? There. And then get rid of this guy and do square brackets. That's a page, right? Good. So now that so this is now properly showing the right page in the wiki. Um, but I don't really want it to be named this in this table. So I need to figure out how to change. I think I'm doing this the long way around. No, do not update the link. So I fucked that up. I just renamed the page instead of uh yeah here's rendering Excalibur I just I just completely did the reverse of what I thought I was doing that was fun uh edit undo uh that's that's not going to help uh up and let me go back and just rename this page Good. So that page is now named properly. Here's the tiles page. I don't know if this will go to it now. It does. Okay, I fixed it. So I need to find out how to make the text that's showing different from the link and not confuse myself anymore. Um, but that's what this table is supposed to be. And then the mosaics. Huh. I need to put the mosaic in, which I haven't done. And the mosaic vision. So the goals, let me just see. What is relate? <clears throat> so I think I want to say, um, I think I want to just call it relates mosaic. And make a page out of that. So I've just created a blank page for the mosaic, which will have a little bit of text and then probably be a drawing in Excala Draw. Because what I want to do is take something like this, which don't worry about it. I mean, uh, uh, I, I showed it to you yesterday, but you're, you're screen sharing. So yeah, exactly. Um, so let me stop share and put it up for a sec, a little bit better. So something like this, but different. I mean, I've got m multiple drawings that kind of fit here. And it'll probably be several different drawings, et cetera, et cetera. But my goal is to encourage every organization to paint their mosaic. And when the M would call it a tapestry, which is great, uh, it's just a different kind of analogy. Um, but the idea is that we're weaving or making tiles and, and, and arranging 
a bigger vision of the future we want and how it works, right? That's what the mosaic is. Mosaics are, are individual projects, visions of the future. Tiles are the pieces of code that need to be built in order that any project exists. And then a good tile is a tile that serves multiple projects because it's generalized and it's like, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So a couple of things that so on the page that we were just on, is there some point like when we talk about McBrainy face or whatever, where you'll be able to see more than one project that it was able to fit into? Um, that is a lovely uh, thing to do. And a, a thing I could do that complicates things a bit and maybe takes us an, into a different level, but this table, for example, could have another another column that says uh, project served. And so Brainy McBrainface could serve Free Jerry's Brain and OGM and Relate, for example. Right. Right? That I makes think sense. It's a worthwhile, I think it's a worthwhile thing to do. Um, and at the same time, you know, we didn't look at the bigger projects yet, but when it comes to the bigger projects, yeah, at some point, you know, it's like, there still needs a bridge to be built. Right. So at some point, things have to be working towards the middle in terms of big projects, small projects. Like, yep. does that make sense? Yeah. What I'm saying? So let's see if this looks any good. How's that? Yes. Cool. Love that. Um, good. <sighs> Man, it's complicated stuff, huh? But so fun. And yeah. Okay. No, no, no. I was just going to say it's going to get more fun. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Um, let me go back into the chart for a second and, and add a new proposed project. Um, so that starts a new project. Actually, I need to go back and turn this into a link and then get out so that I can go start click to create. Yes, yes, yes. Good. Uh, oh, I want to go to it, silly. Oh, I don't know why that's happening right now. Did I pin I pinned it by mistake. There we go. I don't even know what pinning does. Ah, damn it. I just want to go to that page. Why is Obsidian doing this to me now? All right. Uh, so here's the deal. Um, So actually, I don't want to say like this that way. I want this to be a link to a page, which is called Spider Graphics Caladraw. Um, how do I do that? <laughs> yeah. Don't no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, good try, though. So I wonder if, if Obsidian likes that. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, wait. 
Um, I have to learn how to do this. Okay. So, so what I'm what I'm wanting to do is make a link to that drawing. Okay. So right this minute, what I'm going to do is the plain old way, uh, and just embed spidergraph.excaladraw. I'm not even sure this is going to work. Let's see if that works. Bink, it works. Hot damn. Okay, that's that makes me happy. And this is called the spider graph, just so that I know. Yeah, because it looks like a spider web. And what does ML stand for? Machine learning. Okay. So I made up these these dimensions, but you know, is this tool good for linking? Does it use natural language processing? Are you is it quoting like um Direct. When 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 I use when I use my Kindle Reader and I highlight something, I have an app called Readwise that basically lets me see those clippings later. I don't use them very much, but it's but it's nice because I can see them later, and at least at least there's a link to the quote. When I'm paraphrasing is what I do in my brain a lot. I actually do both in my brain. I paraphrase and I quote. Um, so what I'm what I should do is do this spider diagram. What I want is to to perfect the dimensions and then map the brain to it, map Kumu to it, map Rome to it, map Obsidian to it, et cetera, et cetera. And then then each one will have a different kind of spider map, and you can overlay them to see what the general domain, you know, what the neighborhood looks like. But then each tool, like the brain, doesn't have any natural language processing or machine learning in it at, at all. It's got none, so it would, it would score zero. Which, which is down here at zero, it would score zero on both of those. It's really good at linking, it's really good at tagging, it's really good at quoting and paraphrasing, and it's, it's not very open. <clears throat> so there we go, right? And I, and I hand drew this in Excaladraw, which is getting fun because now, so what's interesting is this renders in Obsidian, but it doesn't render yet on the website. So one of the tiles is a project to render Excaladraw on the website. Okay, and can you just tell me what you mean by the term open? Um, open source, uh, basically. The brain is not open source, and there's no APIs oh, to chart? it. Oh, on yeah. that chart, that's what it meant? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So over here, openness, and, and un unfortunately, there's like many different kinds of openness. So this collapses them all down to one axis. But, but you can also sort of say, hey, this is really open. This is kind of open. This is not open at all. Is there a way, though, I mean... Would I be the only person that wouldn't realize that that just just pertains to code? Um, within a community looking at tools and software, we'd have to agree on what we mean by openness. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think one of the parts of this project actually is spider diagrams. Um, Uh, I'm forgetting one, right? <clears throat> Linking, ML, tagging, quoting, paraphrasing, NLP. No, I think I got them all. Linking. Uh, you didn't put linking there. Good. Thank you very much. And uh, so good. So now I'm happy with this page, right? Good. I mean, this this page is a starting point for that. And then uh, the tiles, 
page now points to spider diagrams as one potential project. Awesome. Um, and what we were just looking at is what's on that page when we look at it. So that works great. Hey, it's Mr. Anderson back from walking his dog. Walking his dog, having lunch, making tea. All right, excellent. I've got my yeah. tea in front of me as well. Yeah. Lunch hour hasn't approached yet here. It's all relative, man. That's true. That's true. I have, I have no intentions of going outside and putting hot coals in a device to burn meat. So that's not happening. Yeah. Um, so, so, go ahead. While there's, a nat while there's a natural break, I just want to know if you at, at, any, eh, at any point wanted to stop the recording and restart it just to break it into segments. Um, I'm happy. Really oh. long, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So um, let's note that it's uh, 17 after the hour. I didn't start the recording at the hour, so that doesn't help. But I can put a marker in the recording very easily, and I think I'd rather keep the office hours as a, a chunk. Okay. Um, but it's really easy to put a, a, a little directory thing in the in the comments. Uh, and Bill, I'm thrilled you're here. Um, maybe I can just walk you through where we've been just to catch you up. Yeah, I thought we didn't really have much. I sort of jumped all over you. Like, let me tell you about Relate. I'm like, no, let me tell you about this thing. And I don't have any time, so I'm out of here. So <laughs> <laughs> enough about me, Jerry. <laughs> so thank you for coming back. Yeah, I'm um, sorry. That's all right. Earlier. So you're so you're familiar with all this. Uh, this is this page is the README page for the new Relate Wiki, uh, which equals this page over here. Right. So yeah, when I went I, through the I went through the wiki, I look, you know. Cool. And you've looked through and I and I've just made some changes and additions in conversation with Stacy. Um uh, and just kind of wanted to get you acquainted with what's there. Um and I didn't push the changes yet. Shall I try that? Hey. You know. I think it's a good idea, no? Up. I like it. Yeah. Up. And so programming on the um, go, you know. Uh what did I add? I added um, there. All right, it's pushing. Committed ten files. Ooh, it pulled one too. It pulled one. What happened? How? How did I it know, pull was, one? Does somebody else have access to the wiki? Uh, Pete does. Well, there you go. Huh? Somebody uh, must have made a, made, okay. made a change. So I think that's right because Pete fixed something. I had a page, I had the page for pioneers. This page was not rendering properly. It was I running. Know, I was gonna, I was gonna fix it myself, but I was like, oh, I'll wait. And so Pete wrote me back and he said, if you put a space between things of different types, it fixes it. And then he went and did the fix, which I think is what just got pulled. Yeah, I think it's two spaces actually. If you do the high, if you do the in in. Obsidian, when you're making a, a bulleted list. Yep. So put two spaces after each bullet item, you're saying? No. Yeah. Oh, because these are not, these have no spaces after, but they're rendering okay. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. I had to. But I, I, I think, I get, well, what Pete also said was that two spaces equals a, a line break. Yeah. What looks good, one thing, what looks great in Obsidian doesn't always look great on the wiki. Exactly. Exactly, but this page is now fixed. So I've got relate projects, <clears throat> uh, but uh, tiles, no, where's, I think it's on, not on projects page. I think it's on, I gotta find my way. It's on get involved, have a project. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, it's not there, God damn it. What page is your answer? Is your friend here? here? Here's the pioneers. Okay, so it's, so it's rendering nicely now. Yeah. And then all of these need to be links to the different projects, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm, I haven't gotten there quite yet. Um, and then <clears throat> I've got sort of short term, I need some text in here to kind of explain why am I dividing things into short, medium, and long term, and what's the difference. Uh, conceptually speaking, the short term goals are really practical short term experiments that put up use cases or prototypes for what the heck this thing is. Um, medium term, I should put some nav inside there. Uh, the midterm goals, which I haven't written up yet, are more the, the question that Ev posed to me, which is kind of the heart of this project, <clears throat> which is what, and, and this is like, 
the, the thing I've been sort of cracking my brain on for a while now. Um, what entities, norms, and dynamics or communities need to exist in order that we have a shared memory that would benefit humanity? And that's more than just what Wikipedia, that's not a just shared memory of facts, but is in fact opinions, ideas, stories, this layer above. And I don't even know if I'm saying it right by describing it as a layer above Wikipedia and regular web pages and all that. <clears throat> and, and to confuse matters further, I refer to this often as the big fungus because it's this constructed scaffolding that, that uh, metabolizes nutrients and feeds us all. <clears throat> that's the, that's the, the metaphoric conceit. So let me throw, I want to throw out one thing here. So Please. I think I like what you're saying about the mid, I think when you're talking about midterm goals, the way you said it, it would sound, it sounds to me like, you know, developing a proposed way of thinking or model to make sense of, you know, I'm trying to construct them, but make sense of, you know, what's happening. Yeah. So I look at it that way. So it's going to be provisional. Anything you learn in the short term is going to have it make a difference. Yeah. Perhaps, maybe not. You know, sometimes the long-term goals never change because it was broad enough. You know, sending a man to the moon worked for the janitor as well as for the yeah. aeronautics engineer. So um, the other thing... Um, this thing when we talked earlier but the fact that everything's connected to everything in some way and in order to get away from that being reductive mm -hmm. it's like yeah so we don't really have to talk about it because like you know that's the only concept that works so we're done it's like so rather than saying like there's just going to be above or you know it might be i look at things this way when you have a connected semi-connected graph mm -hmm. This is what I think about organizations, right? There really is all these connections, like, you know, Baldus Krebs draws these great diagrams. Who's connected to who? Yep. You want a hierarchy? Pick up one of the nodes and shake it. Yep. And now then you have the, a hierarchy. Now you have a hierarchy, exactly. Yeah. Think of the, so this is maybe a better way to think about. It. Yeah. Pulling together, you know, and if I start here, then, you know, sitting in this little seashell, here's what it looks like to me. Wikipedia is over here, and, you know, blah, blah, blah is over here. So, so I you know, I, you yeah, know, well, I go, anyway, so it's more like from a pers from taking a perspective that a lot, you know, and you do it because that serves some purpose. Totally agree. Sorry, go ahead. So, so I, I think of these as temporary hierarchies or perspectives, right? It's like, it's like, hey, here's a big web of what's up. If I, if I look at it from this point of view, it tells a story or it, or it forms a hierarchy or it has a particular structure. And that structure might be very temporary. I would say provisional because it's not so yeah. much temporary like it's going to go away. It's like it's being you. I, I look at it this way because it helps me get to this following endpoint. Okay. Right. So it puts these categories into places that now I don't have to think about those. I can worry about this. But you can go so, back to them. Oh, you could be right. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I look at the much of this. I don't know. It sounds terrible when I say it that way. It's more like it's instrumental. Right. You construct one of these little perspectives in order to accomplish something or. When you say instrumental, can you say more? Yeah, like it serves some purpose. So um, this is a bit of a digression, but I think it's completely relevant here, which is I've been trying to find a better word than instrumentation for taking good ideas and making them useful. And I'll, the one example mm. I've got is in liberating structures, there's a pattern called one, two, four, all, which says when you have a big group with a complicated uh, topic, a really nice thing to do is give everybody time by themselves, one, pair them up, two, put them in fours and then bring them back to plenary one, two, four, all. And that's just a pattern on a wiki and a book someplace in the world. My thought is, Hey, a chat bot that's sitting next to you when you're zooming and you're not a great facilitator could say, Hey, Jerry, you might be in a situation where one, two, four, all is useful. Would you like me to run it? And this is what I mean by instrumentation. You would say, yes, a little zoom applet would then set up breakout rooms, 
give you prompts, set up a timer, do all of the hand holding so that one, two, four, all was easier for you to run. And, and I want to do that like lather, rinse, repeat on all sorts of wisdom everywhere. And I'm calling that instrumentation. It's not the right word. No, it's not a bad word. It's more like, a, um, you know, it's like a kind of infrastructure, kind of machinery. Yeah. Which it, is like, okay, you know, because it actually... Is it, it's also sort of application. Yeah, and, and when I use the word instrumental, it, maybe I should I should find a better word, but um, it's like uh, um, when I worked at Xerox, <laughs> you know, I had many, <laughs> um, I had many relationships, which it took me a while to realize sometimes people, you know, we had relations that lasted a long time and sometimes people would reach out only because it satisfied an instrumental need of their own. Right. Which I could help with. Right. And so maybe in the relate space, it would be nice to have this kind of notion available so people could talk about the fact that some relationships are purely instrumental mm -hmm. largely maybe mm -hmm. and others are much more personal right yeah so they don't have you know why did you get together and chit chat uh because we always do that right <laughs> you know and why do you do that uh we like to is that okay anything, yeah. anything more you know it's like you know, so, I didn't use, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I didn't use those same words. You weren't here at the time, but what Bill is speaking to is tied into when I was saying that I saw this project in four steps and I saw like the beginning and the end vision in mm -hmm. one part of the map and what you had as the short and medium term goals mm -hmm. in that, in that visual map, those medium and short-term goals are instrumental to the way Bill is now talking about instrumental, whereas the kind of things I'm speaking of are more relational, mm -hmm. but they all tie in together. I, I think I'm following. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little squishy on instrumental just because there's so many conflicting meanings in my head that it, that it could be. Yeah, well, we should find a different word, but it, I know it. I learned it from my wife, too. It was a, anthropologist but you know there are yeah. relationships that are purely you know we're only related because we're both engaged thing. because there's a there's a payoff for the participant or it's an instrument in that the relationship is an instrument in the accomplishment of something else yeah yeah an accomplishment in this case of a personal goal they have or it could be a financial goal or it could be a business goal that a company yeah. has you know, we're going to put all you all on the same team. Goal. You're all on the team. Or you don't like right. each other. You're not getting right. paid to like each other. You're right. getting paid the right software. So, yep. you know, start typing. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so I think that's... Um, and it's easy to get confused because yeah. we're all humans and sometimes we can appear to be very personable and be in relationships, which I've been in relationships which I've mistaken to be you know, well, uh, more more, didn't more. end well. It's like I have one at Xerox that really didn't end. Yeah. Well, I, it, it, yeah. Scott Peck has his community building thesis that says most communities, and I think this would scale down to just short, small relationship circles, are in pseudo community. And the way they get to true community, usually, that's this is just his thesis, is they're, they're kind of tested by fire. Um, because they fall into chaos, they go through emptying, and then they end up a true community. That, that's his thesis about groups and community building. And I like it a lot, actually. If you mm. make it through the fire still alive. Right. right. Mm. Well, one of, one of the solutions to the fire is to walk away, just leave the group, right? Another solution is, hey, Bill, you make a lot of sense. Why don't you just tell us what to do? A, a third solution is for everybody to say, ah, this is the reason I went on fire and I, this is how I, you know, this is, this is how it affects me, et cetera, et cetera. And then other people do the same thing. And then we sort of find our way to some new way of being. And that's, that's the path, the real community. 
Mm. And it's, it's, it's very consonant with Brene Brown's notions of vulnerability. Yeah, I would, I would get away from using the word real. Word or true real? real community. Oh, I, I see. would, my, I would be much more practical. Yeah. You know, because this gets into like, you know, well, you know, you're from New York, you're not a real American. That's all. You're just a New Yorker. Exactly. Or whatever. So I think it would be helpful in some of these projects if we examine some of these uh, kind of monikers we use for things mm -hmm. and try and be more um, accurate or more descriptive. You know, like a functioning, you can find a word that would describe a community that, you know, cares for its members as well mm -hmm. as, you know, gets a, gets a few things done mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, so I think uh, that would be better. Cool. Um, but it's going to take practice because we're used to all this other shorthand that I just started to become really aware of my own, how all these little generalizations and tropes and idioms and stuff really hold a lot of unpacked baggage. It's true. It's totally true for all of us. And and yeah. we often don't know the other person's baggage and we often don't don't unpack it in front of anybody else because it's baggage, right? We don't know our own. Yeah. And we're often unaware of the bags it's, we're carrying. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. but uh so here, I, here's I'm going to throw you a thing from my old software development things. So I like the idea about goals, you know, the, like the, the you know, short, about short range, medium, and long range. Yep. So I believe for to being practical, I don't know how this will work. I just, it seems silly, but I like it. It's more like we have what we're working on. We have a long-term vision for what we are trying to accomplish. Yes. And it could be, you know, <clears throat> could be, you know, individual and shared learning, whatever it is. But um, I would rather have, here's what we're working on now. Here's a list of things we're gonna be doing later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of um, what projects is meant to do. Although, yeah, maybe that's... although it's doing it very poorly right now, but, um, but the idea here was, hey, what's going on in this space? And then the tiles is the pragmatic part of it. So this is easier to see on the web page. Uh, so let me go to tiles. Um, Cause the, I learned, have you learned to use advanced tables? Me? Yeah. No, I, I used, I don't know. I used just kitchen tables. So. Oh yeah, gotcha. Okay. So there's an advanced <laughs> table plugin for Obsidian that actually makes pretty tables like this one. Yeah, that's nice. I've seen it documented okay. stuff. Yeah. It, it's pretty easy to use. Um, so the idea here is we've already written a couple of tiles. So Marc Antoine wrote Meme Brain, Bentley wrote Brainy McBrain Face. These are finished <laughs> tiles. I'm going to put I'm going to put links to their projects over here, et cetera, et cetera. And then here are some proposed um, uh, projects, right? Some proposed tiles. Tiles are small pieces of the mosaic. <clears throat> Every organization that wants to should create its own mosaic so that we know where it's aiming and as, as, as pithily as possible, describe it. And then if we can start talking a lot and boiling things down to tiles, then we can figure out which tiles serve multiple projects. And wouldn't that be cool? Hmm. So for example, when you and Pete fix something in Massive Wiki that serves everybody using Massive Wiki, you could argue that that tile should be funded because it's going to serve you know six different projects that are depending on that feature showing up in Massive Wiki. Does that make sense? Like search. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I just did a much more. I I have been a very. I trying to get to the simplest possible. Here's what I'm doing now, and everything else is later. <laughs> yeah. Right. And once every periodic time, I take a look at the later chart and decide, so, uh oh, I've been sure to have been working on that earlier. Mm, okay, I guess we're going to have to swap some things out here. But so there could be a now page on the Relate Wiki, right? It would be nice to have here's what you know we are spending time on now. I know that the Meta Project they made the suggestion, I think they took it up about not having a list of things we should be working on. Mm -hmm. 
just have, here's what we are working on. And here are other things that are related that are also important to work. How do we on. prevent that page from blowing up and including everything? <clears throat> right, you gotta, that's why you have a gardener. I mean, yeah. Right, you got a community, you know, just let things blow up. Or you tell people, here, we got the everything box, just put it in there. If you really get motivated, maybe you can convince a bunch of us to move it on to the, you know, the Kanban place where it'll get actually worked on. But I just like the idea of not making a list of what one should be doing because the obvious question then is why are you not doing that? So you want to, you, you want to pay if you should be doing it, then why are you not? It's like, so you'd like not, a page like you'd like a page like this, right? Well, I think it would help when you're trying to like, you know, you want to join in. Here's things that we're working on right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got to, go ahead. I, Stacey. I'm saying I would keep that page not active yet. Right. Until yeah. Until so what? You make so you make a choice about what out of the you know. No, but right now we're holding office hours and we're building the wiki and a couple. I, I can, I can. Well, you can. Well, you can populate this right here as the you know the main relator. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I would count. I would count the building of the wiki as what we're doing now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I would leave that page inactive until the wiki page was built. If that makes any sense. It doesn't. I see. I see. It, 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 well, it no, doesn't. No, no, I think it's like it's. It's I, like. I have... uh... <clears throat> Go ahead, Bill. No, I. It's not like building. You're always like working on a wiki. It's sort of like establishing the wiki. Right. Just making it. You know, here's the foundation. Blah blah blah. We got three rooms. Right, but what what I heard was a concern that too many things were going to get thrown into. What are we doing now? So what I'm saying is make the what are we doing now as where people could join in and then as that becomes more established then open up that other page yeah it's very funny i think it's good actually i like what you said open up which, which other page do you mean stacy this one this one yeah i think stacy's saying you know especially in uh, preschool here we would like to get the kindergarten but we're not there yet so yeah. before we get there could we just like not, you know, build everything? Could we just lay a groundwork? I understand, Jerry, where you're coming from, and you can certainly because the you know this is your project, and you you can just say, well, here's how I look at it, right? You know, and maybe at some point there'll be a page for you know other things, you know, other quote <clears throat> related things to work on. You right. Know, pun intended. Pun intended. Very <laughs> punny. Um, and I think that happens, right? I mean, that's, I know, I think it has happened in sort of the meta project work because there's a lot to be done and there's it's only so many hours, so many people, so much. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and the same with Pete and I in Massive Wiki. We have a long list of stuff. We're basically being brutal about what's the you know what's the next one thing we're going to try and do yeah yeah um cool so i conceptually i have no problem building out this page and publicizing it right now because I can, and, and, and it's also a short play, a short way for somebody to jump in and go, all right, all right, what's up? And I can then point to, hey, come join us in these conversations and, uh, you know, take a look. But, but um, I, I don't, I, I'm, okay. so I'm going to push back. I'm going to say what, I'm going to channel Stacy, but I'm going to say, okay, so you should already say, one thing that's already happened is that the wiki has been established. Right. So if you want to say, what you know, an accomplishments, hey, wiki established. <laughs> um, I, you know, I, I once there was somebody I met online in England who said rather than doing a to-do list, he started doing a things I had gotten done list. Mm -hmm. And I did that for a week. It was really nice. So a to-done to list. Change the freaking light bulb. 
that broke off. I had to call an electrician. You know, it was like just, it was like, oh, this is so much more fun Satisfying. than trying to build a list of all these other things you'll never have time to do. Yeah. So, yeah. so Jerry, let me give you let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Yeah. So we talked about like there's going to be a certain standing call where the topic is going to be directly related to relate. Right. What I'm what I'm suggesting is you have that call and you have that series of calls, and then later you'll be able to link it. Like then you can say, here's one of the we have these standing calls, the relate calls. And now you have that project and there's something actually there that you could link it to, not we're gonna start having these calls. Cause yes, we have OGM calls, but they're not specifically relate calls. Right, so so there's right now, there's nothing on the standing calls page. Nothing's preventing me from putting in our, our standing calls will be at this time on these dates, please show up. And then saying we're holding standing calls and then and then a table with the minute we start having the calls here's the link here's the this here's the that so anybody can come catch up but why would i not be able to do that today well and to bill's point you can do it but you have to understand you have the grand design because this is your project not everybody coming in is going to have that blueprint and right. it just and and what I'm it trying to do with the wiki is be as, as crisp and transparent as I can about that plan and, and put as much I, of it. Yeah. Let Bill talk. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. No, I have the end. I, well, I think have I have answer. an answer. I love that. Um, because my, one of my best friends, uh, we always have been talking for years. We've been writing software and, you know, people say, well, just, you know, read my code. And you'll see what it does. And I said, yeah, I found out what your program does, but I don't know what it's for. <laughs> Which right. cannot be written in the programming language you're using. I'm sorry. You know, it's not available. Um, yeah. So what I would like from my background in the sort of the Tavistock and the other group relation stuff, one thing that would help for standing calls would be what is the, well, first of all, what is the primary task of the standing calls. And then each call may itself have a primary task. Like mm -hmm. today, I, Jerry, need or want feedback on blah, blah. I just want to talk for 15 minutes and see what happens, you know, whatever. But so that's what so I'm trying I, to do with my office hours specifically, right? Yes. But I, but I just like for me, the Tavistock, the office. When they said primary task, that really grounds things in what, why have we decided to come together here? So I can do the same, I can do exactly this for standing calls. So I could say, hey, uh, we're picking Tuesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific as a standing call for Relate, which is this project over here, go look and you'll see what it is. And I could build out a little agenda that says, hey, we're going to feed this calendar with what, what we're going to talk about for each of the standing calls. And then each of those could, could point to an agenda page or a page for the call, which is like what we were doing on the other wikis. Yeah, uh, so for me, though, the question is, what, so, but there is a, the reason there is, you know, well, here's the other way that this from a Neil Postman view. So standing calls is a solution. What problem is it solving and whose problem is it? It's more like I'm trying to say that for this relate project, it's like everything you put on the wiki is there for a reason. Yes. And it would be nice to help people when they come into this project to say, you know, we have established standing calls for the following purpose. Mm -hmm. We have established blah, blah, blah for the following, you know, to a company. So that then people could ask questions, you know, you might somebody say, why do you even bother, you know, well, whatever, but, but you or those of us who actually, you know, feel related would um, be able, would, yeah. actually, <laughs> um, would actually be able, you know, to have a, you know, we would know what it's for. I really mm -hmm. think this is a primary question when you're trying to do something. Even a scientific experiment. I can repeat your thing in the lab, but I don't know why you did that experiment. Yeah. It's like, so, so that's like the other piece, of, a little bit of a meta, but it's really, really helps 
provide the context for things. Got it. So two answers to that. One is, what is why does Relate exist? Which you have to go like look at the page that says what is Relate and what's it trying to get done. And hopefully that's really crisp and clear. So one of them is just like the overall pur pur purpose of the, of the whole project. And then standing calls are one thing that we've adopted broadly over our little flotilla of communities as a way of moving each project forward. So the reason for a standing call is to move the project forward as a community. Do we need more of a reason than that? Not necessarily. Okay. But it's re but it, but that's a good enough reason. And then somebody could say, well, how do calls actually do that? Right. You know, but whatever. But at least it's not like we just get together on, you know, Tuesdays at six and uh, whatever happens, happens. It's like, mm, no, it's not. I, I mean, there were many standing meetings in Xerox on projects that basically were waste, could well have been just not didn't really need to have it, but they became this kind of a thing, you know, had its own life outside of the purpose. But I think, here, you know, I mean, you've been doing the OGM thing for two plus years now. So you, yeah, have, a, yeah. you have a reason, you have, you know, lived experience and evidence for what uh, benefit, what they what affordances they provide for right. other things. Well, and Rex before that, and Yee yeah, so, before that, and but yeah. but so this is a but just to be clear about that because I you know I am still even though I not, don't work anymore I'm still like when people have a meeting it's like well oh know, totally why, I mean, why, I, why, like what's what's the do with this so, is a task here or like I'm I'm come agreed to a decision yeah I'm agreed and I and I, I, just, and, I and I think. There should only be a standing call if there's a reason for a bunch of people to get together to do something around a project. And the description of the standing calls and the project descriptions are a way for people to sort themselves into where they want to spend their life energy. Yeah, yeah, right. Sure, but I, yeah. Is good? Yeah, no, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't want to be like that. Cool. but i just think it can be clarifying to say here's what it's for yeah and somebody who says how do you know it works it's like here's why based on this experience is why we choose to continue to do it right um and i think that's just clarifying mm -hmm. oh um a question you can probably answer uh ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da, projects a question you can probably answer in the tiles uh, this link right here, uh, this uh, this is in fact the name of a page. Tile, it's a tile mm -hmm. rendering Excalibur draw is the exact, exact name of the page. How do I change it so that the presenting text is only re rendering Excalibur draw, but it still points to that page? I think you. Oh, I gotta look at this because I, I did the I did I, I did the wrong thing a moment ago. Basically, it renamed the page and didn't change the text that was showing here, and that was uh, when this, I, that was when I did rename right here. That didn't yeah, work. No, no, no. I sorry, I'm a dope about this. This is where I use uh, you know my favorite search engine and just type Obsidian. Mm -hmm. How do I blah blah? Okay, I will. I will and do that. Somebody will come back with oh, it's formatted like this. Pete might yeah. remember. I don't. Oh. There is just either it's like you put a vertical bar in there yeah. there's some some yeah point. exactly there's a syntax i don't know what it is obsidian what do we call this uh aliases no no uh, named links so try that link to file hyperlink anchor different name right there like that <laughs> so when you link to a website you can do this is not the url which is even though the name is so uh, try, try. Uh, you're right. Pipe, and uh, my description is like this. This is this does not work with links. I'm confused. This was not a straightforward answer here. Yeah, I know. Uh, but it's it's it involves the pipe symbol, as you just said. I believe that's true. But I'd have to try it. So maybe. So look at this one. So my description is like this parentheses. Yeah. No, oh, that's for an external link. What you yeah. want is for an internal link. Yeah. Bingo. Bingo. For a wiki. So use the word wiki link. So let me just try that being the page bar. Let's see if that works. 
It does not. It totally breaks. So that was the wrong answer. Oh, but you put in a bar and you're in a table. So there you go. Yeah, but that I'm just I'm just right drawing a link and the link is working just fine. Yeah, so but this, this should behave like a link. Yeah, but you put a vertical bar in there, you're building a table. So it's going, oh, oh look, it's a table. The vertical bar uh, reads gotcha. In the table. Yeah, it reads like a tab. So yeah, this is this is the more fun. Like you see, you put the wooden nickel under your tongue, then you can yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fascinating. Well, thank you. Good point. Um, there is a way to do it. All know. right. Uh, but you're right. We have the complexity of being inside a table. Um, so uh, my brain is is full. This has been sure like a really good office hour. I think what I need to do is go work on the things we just talked about. And I want to try to shoot a video to get over to John and Ev to say, here's what's up. All right. Uh, oh, is there a free church brain today? I think so. I will answer in the chat for you then. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there should totally be a free jury's brain today. Cool. Okay. I appreciate that. And, and I will see you soon. In a couple, <laughs> in a couple hours. Yeah, in an hour. <laughs> Bill, it was good to see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Until soon. Yeah, you should turn, it, turn off the video. Turn what? The video off. Uh, you mean the recording? Recording.